want to make sure that your unused meds don't get into the wrong hands. There's a drive through drop-off on Monday in Green Bay, and here to tell us all about it is Community Officer Dave Schmitz of the Green Bay Police Department and Kathy Rhodes from Bell & Health Pharmacy. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Okay, so this, um, let's talk about why we need this. Why do we need people to go through uh, their medicine cabinets and, and their cupboards and find these unused medications? I think the big part of it is that we want accountability for the drugs. A lot of drugs get prescribed. Um, people don't realize that those drugs, if they're not used, are sitting out there. And we want to get those drugs that are sitting out there, collect those, and get them out of the market, as you'd say. And this happens quite a bit, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not just an environmental reason that we uh, don't want to throw them away. I mean, there's another reason, and that's crime prevention. Exactly. That um, we've seen, and I know the state right now is doing a big push, uh, that the collection of these drugs helps stop those uh, early um, addictions where kids are getting involved. And we've seen, especially on the heroin side of things, that this is a lot of time as a gateway drug for people to get in, for kids to get in. And Kathy, what have you seen, like why, why is this important to you that we do something like this for the community? I think um, just to get the medications that are expired out of your, they're not safe to take. Very good um, point preventing them from going into the environment, um, you know, keeping children and pets and other individuals out of them. Um, and just medications that you're no longer taking, you should not hang on to them for another day. Well, we've got some do's and don'ts that they provided for us. We're going to go through those and then we'll give you details about the drop off. Uh, do check your medicine cabinet because like you said, Kathy, some of the items are expired and, and they're no longer mm -hmm. being used and don't save medications that you no longer need. Do people do that? Oh yeah. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't think, you don't want to get put them in the garbage because you know that's not right. the place for them to be. Right. And next, do protect the environment. Um, like we mentioned, don't flush them down the toilet. Why is that a bad idea? It ends up in the water system or in the environment. Um, and even putting them in the trash, animals can get into them, children. Um, people that want to stay, take drugs, steal drugs. Mm -hmm. Sure. Dave, this next one's for you. Do prevent medications from being diverted and used illegally. Cause it, it happens, like you mentioned, and not, it's not really rare for it to happen. No, and, and um, again, it's been brought to our attention over the last couple of years. So um, along with the environmental part of things, being able to address this other, the criminal end of things and the addiction end of things is huge. And it's easy to get. Yeah, very easy. And then we mom and dad are unsuspecting, and it happens. And uh, it's not just um, located; it's specifically located. There's a, a lot of uh, all the high schools in this area are dealing with it, and uh, sales of the medications mm -hmm. are a problem. So. And finally, do bring in your expired and no longer use medications to the Bellin medication drop off. Okay, and don't. Um, bring needles, syringes, and other biological waste. So there are things that you need to know. You can bring in certain things, and you say to make it easier on the people who are collecting, they sh you should separate it out first? That would be great. Mm -hmm. If they could separate it into, uh, open up their pill containers, dump them into a Ziploc bag, and then hand them off to us. Uh, Bellin's got it set up great where you just pull up, hand it to somebody, and drive away. You don't even have to get out of the car. Okay, and Kathy, when is this happening? This is on Monday and it's from 10 to 2 in the Medical Arts parking lot located next to Bellin. Easy. You just drop them off and this is part of a bigger event, right? Yep. The big event is the 27th, which is Saturday, and there'll be eight drop sites across the county. Um, and those sites are listed at the DEA site. Okay. Um, some of the locations are the Howard Village Hall, Alloway's got a drop site, Bellevue's got a drop site. So contact Trump. your community for the 27th if you can't make it to the drive-through drug. Drop off at Bellin on Monday. Thank you both for being here. Important stuff. Thank you.